If you peruse the people in the news, the people that the magazines refer to. Which separates them from the small purr taters. Good morning everyone, how you doing? It's Paul here from Unusual Things. Now I haven't had a good start to the day because I've literally just dropped my phone on the floor, which is my camera, as you know, and it's just smashed the screen. However, we can still film, so we're okay. We'll deal with that later, not the end of the world. Today I am in Watford in Bushy Green Cemetery, which is a, a Jewish cemetery, and we've come to find the final resting place of Mr. Frankie Vaughan, uh, a tremendous singer, um, an amazing entertainer, and we're going to come and have a little look to find his final resting place. Now, this place is massive. Look, it is massive. There are so many, so many graves here. Um, I know which section he's in, so that's a good start. However, I've just got to find, look, it's not only down here, it's down there too. And I've got this horrible feeling that I've probably come in the wrong entrance um, gnats and stuff everywhere however that's not a problem we will persevere and we will find so Frankie Vaughan yeah um, great singer entertainer even got to Hollywood made a film with Marilyn Monroe I'll tell you all the information about him real soon but um, yeah, a very suave guy, always dressed smart. Um, people loved him. He was born in Liverpool. Um, friend of Jimmy Tarbuck as well. Oh, Jimmy Tarbuck, he's still going, isn't he? Well, I hope he is when this video goes out. So. <laughs> now, don't forget, as usual, if you like the video today, please hit the old thumbs up button. Uh, and also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. It doesn't cost you anything. A moment of your time, that's all it costs. And I just can't believe how big this cemetery is it's massive um but we will we will find we shall find it um yeah and if you uh want to be notified as to when the videos come out hit that notification bell and then uh you'll you'll be told basically it's as simple as that anyway i will tell you now about frankie vaughan like i say if you like him if you've heard of him um if you've seen him anything like that leave your comments down below and we'll get on and take some more information about frankie vaughan Frankie Vaughan, CBE, DL, born Frank Fruim Abelson, 3rd of February 1928 to the 17th of September 1999, was an English singer and actor who recorded more than 80 easy listening and traditional pop singles in his lifetime. He was known as Mr Moonlight after his signature song, Give Me the Moonlight, Give Me the Girl. Two of Vaughan's singles topped the UK singles chart. Vaughan was born Frank Fruim Abelson on Devon Street in the Islington district of Liverpool on the 3rd of February 1928, one of four children to Isaac and Leah Abelson. He came from a family of Russian Jewish descent and derived his stage name from his grandmother as he was her firstborn grandson. She called him Frank, my number one grandson, and her Russian accent made one sound like Vaughan. In his early life, he was a member of the Lancaster Lads Club, a member group of the National Association of Boys Clubs, having started out the club intending to become a boxer. He was a major contributor to them during his career, dedicating his monetary compensation from one song each year to them. He was an evacuee during World War II. He attended the Lancaster College of Art on a scholarship and was a vocalist in their dance band. After a stint in the Royal Army Medical Corps, where he spent most of his time boxing, he returned to art school, this time at Leeds College of Art. An early appearance was in the lead student's rag review, It's Ragtime, which opened on the 20th of June 1949 at the Empire Theatre in Leeds, when he was described as the show's main vocalist. He was still known as Frank Abelson at the time. When he won a prize in a design contest, he left for London, where he won second prize on a talent show on the radio. Vaughan auditioned for the agent Billy Marsh, who booked him in for a week at the Kingston Empire in May 1950 with Jimmy Wheeler. His debut went well, with press comments stating, Frankie Vaughan gives a promising performance 
when singing some new and old songs in a crooning style. He receives a warm reception. This led to further bookings on the variety circuit and he appeared with the veteran male impersonator Hetty King on several occasions. Her guidance helped change Vaughan's style for the rest of his career. He became known as a fancy dresser wearing top hat, bow ties, tails and a cane. Vaughan made his first television appearance on the 13th of October 1951 in a variety show from the Theatre Royal Leeds starring Gracie Fields. He was introduced by Donald Pears and sang Lucky Me. He made his first record in 1950 for his master's voice, but they were not popular. In August 1952, he joined the dance band of Nat Temple for a year or so, but the popularity of further recordings he made in 1953 encouraged him to return to the variety stage. He switched to the Phillips label and in 1955, he recorded what was to become his trademark song, Give Me The Moonlight, Give Me The Girl. He recorded a large number of songs that were covers of United States hit songs including Perry Como's Cupid Doll, Jimmy Rogers' Kisses Sweeter Than Wine, Boyd Bennett's Seventeen. And in early 1957, his version of The Garden of Eden reached number one in the UK singles chart. In 1957, he was voted the eighth most popular star at the British box office. Managed at this time by former journalist and theatrical agent Paul Cave. Fawn stayed in the United States for a time to make a film with Marilyn Monroe, Let's Make Love, 1960, and was an actor in several other films, but his recordings were never chart hits in the US, with the exception of Judy, which reached number 100 on the Billboard 100 in August 1958. In 1961, Vaughan was on the bill at the Royal Variety Performance at the Prince of Wales Theatre, Coventry Street, London. That December, Vaughan hit number one in the UK again with Tower of Strength, written by Burt Bacharach and Bob Hilliard. The rise of beat music eclipsed Vaughan's chart career before he returned to the top 10 in 1967 with There Must Be A Way. Chart success eluded him after this, although he did have two more top 40 singles, nevertheless, and so tired. In the late 1960s, Vaughan involved himself with a youth project in Eastbourne, Glasgow. He was appalled by the level of violence amongst young people. Vaughan held meetings with the gang leaders and appealed for them to surrender their weapons. In 1985, he starred in a stage version of 42nd Street at Drury Lane in London, opposite his old friend Shaney Wallace, who appeared in their first film together, Ramsbottom Rides Again. After a year, he nearly died of peritonitis and had to leave the cast. Vaughan was married to Leeds-born Stella Shock, 1924-2022, from 1951 until his death, the couple had three children, a daughter, Susan, born 1963, and two sons, singer and yoga elder David Sai, born 1961, and actor, singer Andrew Abelson, born 1968. In 1994, he was one of the few to be honoured by a second appearance on This Is Your Life when he was surprised by Michael Aspel. Fawn had been a subject of a show previously in April 1970 when Eamon Andrews surprised him at the Caesars Palace nightclub in London. Despite frequent bouts of ill health, Vaughan continued performing until shortly before his death from heart failure in 1999. He was awarded an OBE in 1965 and a CBE in 1996, and as a long-time resident of High Wycombe, had been a Deputy Lieutenant of Buckinghamshire since 1993. He was an Honorary Fellow of Liverpool John Moores University. He also received the Variety Club of Great Britain Award for Showbiz Personality of the Year in 1957. Fawn died from heart failure at his home in High Wycombe, aged 71. His wife Stella donated archival materials, including scores and sheet music he had collected throughout his career to Liverpool John Moores University in 2000. So there's all the information there about Frankie Vaughan, what an amazing man he was and what an amazing life he led as well. So we're going to have a little look around now in this massive place for his final resting place. Now, I'm aware that the section is GZ. So, um, but it seems to be back to front. It's like ZP, ZA, <laughs> ZN. So we'll just keep carrying on and having a look, but this place is huge. Touch wood at the moment. The weather is kind to me. Um, so we'll carry on and we'll have a little look around. Okay, so I have been having a good look around for Frankie's grave, and you know what? I think I found it.
in amongst how we can describe like a sea of headstones and stuff. And then let's start off with Frankie's wife, Stella, first of all, because she's buried next to him. So Stella Vaughan, 30th of October, 1929 to the 3rd of June, 2022. Starlight memories of a romantic partnership. Her love lives on through her children and family. Forever missed, she did it all. And then we will always miss our darling grandma, Natalie, Lily, Jamie, and Annabelle. How beautiful is that? And then of course, the man himself, Mr. Frankie Vaughan. I bet that's not the first time he's ever heard that, being introduced probably so many times. Frankie Vaughan, C-B-E-D-L. 3rd of February, 1928 to the 17th of September, 1999. Lovingly remembered by his wife, Stella, children, David, Susan, and Andrew grandchildren, sisters, family and friends. Mr. Moonlight, he enriched our lives. And then down there, we will always miss our darling grandpa, Natalie, Lily, Jamie and Annabelle. Wow, Frankie Vaughan. So there we have the final resting place of Mr. Frankie Vaughan. What an amazing guy he was. So talented, such a gentleman with it as well. Um, you know, him and his wife got put through quite a bit when they went to America. They were tested a little bit with their relationship, of course. Um, people trying to intervene and interfere and get in between them and all the rest of it. Um, but, you know, he was the man he was and they came back to the UK. And not only that, he um, got to star in a film with Marilyn Monroe. How many people, British celebrities for instance, or entertainers, can ever say that? Um, Frankie Vaughan. What a voice on him as well, uh, an amazing entertainer and just, um, I think just so well loved by his fans because he'd come on stage, he'd do his bit uh, and he just got the crowd roaring. Um, sadly, you know, had a few bumps on the road with his health before he passed away. Um, but yeah, what a great entertainer all around, Frankie Vaughan. Don't forget, like I said earlier, please leave your comments down below if you've ever seen Frankie. If you ever met him uh, or you know if you've uh, been a fan of his over the years um, or if you've never heard of him at all before leave your comments down below if you've learned something today about Mr Vaughan um, and don't forget if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you haven't done so already maybe subscribe to the channel it's absolutely free and I will see you all on the next one from a overcast Watford today I'll see you all on the next one take it easy